Okay, what we have here is a USB 2.0 sharing switch. And as you can clearly see from the title, it says two to one. So in other words, it is meant to take in two USB 2.0 inputs and share them uh, with this one with one output. So all through USB 2.0. Now I've already unpackaged this. It came with the device and two USB 2.0 cables that are fairly long. So I was pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and bring in the device. Right here. It's very small actually. Uh, from the pictures on Amazon, I thought that this was going to be um, much bigger. But no, fairly small, fairly compact. Uh, let me get in here with a little focus. There we go. Fairly small, fairly compact. It has a nice satisfying uh, click here. Pretty big button. Uh, some people might find that a little too loud when you click on it, but I find it to be uh, just fine. Um, on the front, you have two blue LEDs that will light up depending on which one you're using and your single output here. Now that single output might be a problem because that single output has to be connected to whatever you're trying to share between the two devices that are plugged into the one and two ports. So uh, yeah, it's only one output. Now if you were to buy an actual KVM uh, switch, uh, then uh, those things can be a little bit more pricey, but they have a lot more ports on them that you can share between two, three, or multiple computers. Uh, so what I did to combat this one port is I brought in a simple, um, well, a simple USB hub, pretty much. Uh, this is a full port, one on the end right here. Uh, USB 2.0 with Eagle Tech. I have this, the links to all these products down in the description box below, but fairly, once again, cheap device, a cheap way to handle that. So I plug in my keyboard and mouse to this port, and then I plug it into the uh, Ugreen USB 2.0 switch here, uh, sharing switch, and that pretty much solves my problem. So now, let me go ahead and show you how I have this hooked up on my desk setup. All right, so here on the desk, uh, I have my cables here. I'm about to hook up to my little switch, uh, the Fedbor and uh, Barrel Grounds on my screen here because I like to watch them on late night Sundays uh, from time to time. And they're going to prove a little test subject as well. So let's go ahead and hook up the USB 2.0 switch. Put that into one. Put that into two. So these are the two PCs I'm plugging in now. So the one here is plugged into the server that's right down below the desk here. And this one here is plugged into the PC that's right off screen right over here. Hopefully I did not just go out of focus because <laughs> um, I'm filming on my phone. So now take our USB hub, a 2.0 hub, plug it into the output, plug my keyboard and mouse, into that hub and here we go so you see there's a light uh, there you might be able to see it if not there is a light here that lets you know and see how my mouse is moving I can now move the screen move my window all over the place and it's good so now if I want to control the other uh, control the server all I have to do is switch it on my monitor here my monitor has two inputs for HDMI so I use that switch that and switch the um, the mouse over and now on this screen you're seeing my server so now I can click there you see my mouse is moving I can punch my password let me log into the server so I can move a window around just so you can see and here we are we're on the server I can open up the browser all right and the server is only hooked into this one screen I don't have it running dual screens on the server because I don't need that on this little bitty uh, server. It's not meant to do all that. It's just meant for some basic uh, browsing and handle some tasks, stuff like that. If you wanna know how I built this and why I built it and all stuff like that, uh, I do have a video uh, that's linked in the description box and it'll be in a card, most likely just in the card somewhere you can just click on, no problem. So yeah, so now you see how this works and you know the keyboard works just fine. I haven't noticed any lag or any slowdown or latency just from adding these devices uh, in. Maybe if I was like a hardcore gamer, I guess I might notice something, but I highly doubt it. Uh, so yeah, this is just um, what I want to show you. This is the Ugreen USB 2.0 sharing switch two in one. And of course uh, the Ecotech USB hub, even though we weren't really focused on the hub. I was just trying to show you guys how these things can work together so that you can have a keyboard and mouse 
uh, one set of key of a keyboard and mouse on two PCs without having to actually buy a full like KVM switch and do something a little bit more you want to. Maybe you just need a simple switch, a simple USB 2.0 sharing switch. All right. You guys have a good one. That's all I want to show you in this video. I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Once again, have a good one. Bye.